Hello my lovely, lovely Pisces, it's Mia here. Welcome to this reading. This is a bonus mid-January reading for 2023. How are you doing? Plus, I'm having some surprise for you at the very end, so stay tuned. I have a yes or no question, or let's say answer given to you. It will be regarding um situation or... Oh, hidden side roads. Um, situation in your life or place or people or... Uh, just a even basic questioning, maybe. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to find out what is going on. Okay, luck is in your side. Oh, that is some very some unexpected turns happening for you, Pisces. Plus, we have the Mercury coming out of retrograde January 18th as well. Oh, no, no, it's not. And we have the new moon in um, Sagittarius nearly, in Aquarius so it's a great 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 start for certain oh yes wow fabulous uh it's a good time to start certain things quite the revolutionary uh revelations happening another yes guys what is going on Pisces this is beautiful you're very lucky look at that everything's in your hands in your powers very powerful card indeed. Let's have a look one more tarot cards and it will be great. Anxiety, nine swords. Okay. I'm going to take another one. Oh. Reward, four ones. Okay. Okay. Hidden road and luck is on your side. There is some unexpected things happening and I'm not wondering, I'm not surprised because we, with this new moon and with, with the Mercury coming out of retrograde as well, there is definitely some movements happening and, and communications got much more clearer, some blockages, whatever energies, blockages are being revealed as well and some sort of, sort of surprise is coming your way. Hmm. Some surprise is coming your way. Either this is a person coming in your life or there's some offers or maybe some travel. Why I'm seeing the travel. Maybe someone is asking you to come and visit me uh, overseas even. Um, some Maybe some friends or you haven't seen for a long, long time. Uh, it's coming and popping in in your life again. It's something that you were not really aware. Um, well, it feels that it's a very good omen. But, oh, if I can take it. Luck is on your side. New moon is Sagittarius, right? So it's really kind of what you want with this arrow here. You go for it. Luck is on your side. It's kind of like, well, like a wheel of fortune. You have done every single thing to make it happen. And now when I see the wheel of fortune, I always look what kind of cards are around. It could be a very expect unexpected kind of situations. Now, such a thing is coincidence. But... With it as well as yes, and not just only one yes, but two yeses, right? Pisces, this is a brilliant, brilliant omen. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Gold and silver, kind of making choices, but it's good. It's really kind of positive, kind of choice as well. Why I'm seeing someone's maybe planning the travel or some sort of tiny house or van or some sort of bonkers idea, kind of really dropping out and doing something really out there, <laughs> literally, really like an out there kind of thing, indeed. Um, because it with this card here, it's like a little chalice with the tools, so, no, with the little snakes around. It's very kind of medicine. It feels like that you can heal yourself. You can turn your life around. You have everything, all the vitamins, all the, you know, like the body holds like a medical uh, kind of medical um, elements and uh, chemicals and nutritions. It feels that you got yourself recharged big time. Pisces, this is some energy that um, you are like a real Pisces elements. No one's going to understand you. And, and, and that's absolutely fine. You do not need to explain to no one. Don't tell anyone your next move. Don't talk about money or love life. And they will not know how to attack you. Therefore, you are safe then, right? It is as it is, right? I was very poor. With it. I think in 2023, when I did a lot of readings, there was a lot of high priestess came out and she came out with the message saying, mind your business. Really mind your business. Be true to yourself when you speak to yourself. But if you keep yourself to yourself and not just 
I know this culture of sharing it's it's very important and and could help someone but there's a times when you need to keep yourself to yourself for that reason because what you up to, you're going up to it feels like oh <laughs> Pisces they're on its elements now we have the ten of swords oh, sorry nine of swords and four of wands there could be something you wanting to break free in ways and maybe being overthinking and it actually felt that at the end it felt that it was like oh is that what it is when it comes to it you know sometimes there's a certain things we kind of think and think and think for days on ends and month and when it comes to when it comes to doing it you're like oh was that simple was that all it and sometimes procrastination, putting off, trying to shut that voice down, whatever you want to do, is creating that procrastinative kind of energies. And it creates a big snowball of anxiety. But at the end of the day, it was a whole reward. It was well worth it. And next time you will know not to overthink things. And go for it. If it feels right. Because four of wands and on my tarot deck, I can see the two people coming towards the four of wands, which looks like a uh, finishing marathon. You know, that you're running through that the end phase where you run through that finishing line. You feel epic, you know. You feel epic. And even, so, especially when like small things or overcoming certain fears in ways as well. Let's have a look what else you have for you for the mid month righty oh now we have we have the lovers oh gemini is here all right oh okay okay so this hidden road side road here that we have it could be that there is a person coming your way mm. either this is a gemini itself in ways right so it could be as well any other air sign for example However, it feels that you are rejoining something, rejoicing some sort of, I don't know, it's a kind of old fling or old some sort of sweetheart from school sweetheart, you know, childhood sweetheart, returning back home along the lines here. Oh, wow. What do we have here? We have eight, eight of cups very brazen oh very very brazen and that's real spicy style and you're not running away from the eight of cups you're actually going to get that ninth of cup you have two nines here so this is a completion is coming inevitably the courage the faith that takes for you to leave things behind or not behind you are going to get something more oh thank you <clears throat> i'm just gonna say something that i heard and it's it's really kind of stuck with me for a long time and i'm gonna say now as well it's never too late you're never too old to be happy you're never too old to be happy guys it doesn't matter are you 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 you can turn your life around and be happy it doesn't you don't have to start again but you can work towards that happiness because the cups are your emotional your emotional being and sudden un unexpected kind of events coming your way or person having the yeses having the, the reward luck is on your side what is here to lose what is here to you lose more importantly, what if you succeed? What, how are you going to feel when you break free? What, how are you going to feel when you are kind of, maybe some of you are walking away from someone and that's how you're doing it. You want to be happy. You want to be free. You want to be in charge. Yeah, that's what Pisces we're talking about, right? Now, Let's go for that yes or no question. You can pause or you can watch me clearing the desk here. Think of something that comes to your mind. It doesn't have to be nothing particularly difficult. Just whatever comes first in your mind. Okay. What comes to your mind? Is it a person? Is it a question? 
and let's dive in. Here we go. Pisces, you ready? Let's dive in. Four of Pentacles. Oh, holding on to tight. Holding on to tight. I would say yes ish, but it's the energy that is not flowing. Someone's holding on to tight. Either someone is shy and closing. You know, when you hold your, it's a saying, you hold your cards close to your chest and not letting go because the money and energy, manifestation, thoughts, it needs to flow. It needs to flow. Currently, it's not flowing. And this person even made the crown out of um, pentacle or money or things. Maybe something something is holding you back because of the thing. Maybe someone you can't for some someone maybe who is wanting to leave someone is you have too much joint responsibilities like car payments, mortgage, something else, and you're feeling that you are stuck in like you're literally holding on to for that material thing. Okay. However, for some of you, it could be. You do need to keep, hold on to the things, especially in an economical climate. It feels like stop splurging too much money around and be more in charge of the money. However, very important, what I felt straight away was there was lack of flow of energy. It needed that, oh, you know, that lungs full of air feeling, that crazy Pisces feeling. Justice, why is justice hunting absolutely Libra is around all the time, making decisions fairly and and taking with sweet time. That's what I'm hearing there. Don't rush into making any rational, irrational decisions. And if you do, weigh up the all options. Weigh, being really urging you being more level headed. Maybe than before. Okay. Kind of putting really ducks in a row first before making that decision. Indeed. I hope this helps. Okay. All right, my lovely Pisces. Thanks so much for being here. Let me know where you're from as well, if you don't mind. And thanks so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next reading. Ta-da.